Well, mount bag time. Let's get into it. Make sure you click like and subscribe, mainly to the subscribe one, so you can check out my future videos. Ooh, these are a bunch of grabbers. It's even in an original Hewlett Packard bag. Wow. It's like a collector's item. So these are original HP grabbers. Nice strong springs. So I've got projects I've got planned, which I've kind of got stuff collected for already, but I've got a few more bits to collect for it. Part of it is I need to make some grabber hooks and some probes. And I saw these original HP ones and I thought, well, I've had these like cheapo ones from China and you know they, they look okay on paper, but they're not very good. They tend to fall off quite easily and that sort of stuff. Not very strong. And I thought, well, I'll get some original HP ones because these have to be decent quality. Now, these may be 20 years old or maybe more. They're going to be good quality clips. So, I've got a bunch in there. I think there's about 20 in there. Something like that. Uh, these are on eBay. That's where I got these from. Excellent. So, now I've got some decent grabbers. You'll see the project soon, once I actually do it. It'll be interesting, I promise. So these are some LCD modules. Those are much bigger than I was expecting to be. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> so I've got some standard ones. Probably just green ones. Just parallel displays. Just check for any cracks in case they've been squashed during transit. Seems fine. And I've got this one here which has been wrapped interestingly. No apparent damage, that looks fine as well. And you've got these other ones which are massive. I don't remember buying these. That's weird. Let me check this. So I was checking my purchase history and no, I did buy these. 20 by 4, so they're not standard size. They're 4 row, 20 characters, instead of 16 by 2. I'm not sure why I got those. I don't know. Anyway, I maybe bought the wrong ones. I don't know. Okay, I bought them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but <laughs> maybe I'll find a useful one day. There's going be links down below for these things. I purchased them from... AliExpress or Bangor and like that, then there'll be links. Wow, there's wow, there's loads of stuff in this bag. There's like five packages in here. Hmm, okay, I'll come back. So suddenly the mail bag just got a lot bigger. I think I'm gonna split some of these items off into a separate mail bag because I've got a second one I need to record as well. I've got a bunch of items, so I'm actually gonna be recording a second mail bag after this one. So I'm gonna chuck some of these in that mail bag and split them up between the two. So massive mail bag then isn't it? Excellent. Alright, let's carry on. Right, this is a TCXO module. Yeah, 49.152 megahertz. And it's got a 74HC04D IC on there as well. Now, what did I need this for? 49 megahertz TCXO. A few moments later. I think that's for my Solotron. My 7061 Solotron. Because it has a POL VCO reference clock in there which is basically line locked frequency so it locks onto the main frequency and compensates for that and adjusts the clock frequency in order to minimize noise and reading stuff like that and an option is a 49 megahertz crystal oscillator which uh, means you're not tied to low frequency anymore but also doesn't have as much drift and stuff like that so i thought i'd get one of these because you know this is a fairly cheap thing to get it's it's basically very much like the option that comes with the solitrons is actually it's an optional thing right the crystal oscillator is an option don't know how good it is, I guess we'll find out. Hey, some Patreon supporters as well. And all my YouTube members, which help to support the channel, hoping to buy things on Smell Bag. And bits of test gear to fix. Oh, here we go. This is a 49.152 megahertz TCXO. Different brands. But uh, yeah, I got carried away. I thought I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use. So I thought I'd get a variety, obviously. So standalone T6O. Not that expensive to get. I think that ball deal is like $30 New Zealand. I think this is probably like 10 bucks or something, I'm guessing. Right. 0603 
8.2 picofarad capacitors. Therefore my project already had some capacitors like this, this value and a size, but I probably didn't have enough of them, so I thought I'd just buy a little quantity, and that way I've got like a, a set, which will all be from the same batch and that sort of stuff, no messing around. And I feel like getting hammered. Yeah, okay. That's a bad joke. So when I was working on the most adjutant E5810s, was, was that right? Yes, E5810A. Um, I had some panel damage. And I was thinking, well, oh, I really could use some small hammers in order to do this really kind of fine panel beating kind of stuff and trying to get into little corners and trying to get creases and stuff made. Let's just buy some cheap hammers from China. It's all rather sharp on there, actually, where they put that nail in there. Don't know how good the quality of the wood is. Mm. Anyway, um, it will probably be fine. It's just really roughly ground and, and yeah, just not great quality, but it's not I'm going to be using it much. It's just for doing a bit of panel beating work here and here. We'll need to straighten up a panel and get something flat or get a crease back in. Should be good for that. That's why I've got this particular shape here, this quite sharp shape, so you can get into a, a crease and reform a corner on a panel. And uh, this is a very slightly radius, this has got a very slight rounding on it. Very slightly rounded, which is good because means you won't put putting extra dents in when you're trying to flatten a panel out. When you're trying to panel a, an existing dent, it's going to push it out instead of creating new dents, hopefully. Alright, last thing for today. Well, at least last thing for this mailbag. I've got the other mailbag to do yet. So this is a Tektronix branded cable assembly. Damaged one. It's actually a damaged assembly. See there's a pin there which is bent. You can see that. But that's fine. I didn't buy it for this. I didn't want it as a working assembly. I have a different project in mind. So you see it's quite a long cable here. I don't know, it's probably a meter or so. Probably over a meter actually. Maybe 1.5 meters. This cable I not care about. These I'd like to keep intact if possible. That might be handy, I'm not sure yet. I may have only got it just for the cables, potentially. If the cables are what I think they are, I'm not sure they are yet. So I'm going to pull this plug apart and see what's inside it. Alright, let's open this up, let's have a little look. Because I need to know whether this is going to do the job or not. It might be completely wrong. I do like the way these are actually bolted together instead of being completely sealed up. That's quite a nice thing. Well, I'm hoping this means I can now pull it apart. Get closer. Like this. Interesting. That's also on the other side. Look at that. So I think I'm right about what these cables are. Trying to get it in focus there, can you see? I think it's a shielded cable. Pretty sure shielded cable. Is that two circuit bolts back to back? Very interesting assembly. So it's got those resistors there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are shielded cables, and if they are, that is perfect because that's exactly what I wanted. I actually purchased these for the cables. Both sides are basically the same. In a way, it's a bit of a shame to waste it, but I mean, it's broken anyway, alright? So there's that pin in there which you may or may not be able to see. Yeah, you can just see it there. Broken pin. Let's try and separate this out. It's an interesting construction. It's got a massively oversized spudger in here. I want to see if we can lift this up or something. Here we go. So what this actually has is a conductive strip here. There you go. There's this little conductive strip. A bit like a zebra strip. And that was sandwiched in between this board here and 
the board in here. So it's sandwiched in there. So that's what provides those contacts. Interesting design. The thing I'd like to see about this is that this is actually a shielded cable. So you can see they've got their shields all down the side, all attached, and then you've got the center conductors coming through, going to these pads. So this is great. So this is exactly why I purchased this cable, because I wanted the shielded cables in this ribbon, because I need some of these, because I want these for my project, which is coming up, which you'll see soon. I'm actually wondering if I can reuse these boards. So what we should do is also pull the other end apart and see what's inside one of these ones. Because what I'd actually like to do is reuse this head. That'd be quite handy. But it depends if there's anything in there or not. Might not be able to. So let's just push that out of the way. The main thing's the cable, but if I can use the head as well, that'd be great. That could be really convenient. Yeah, just straight through connections. Very nice. That could be handy. I'm not sure yet. Here you go, so let's just go straight on to all the pins. Again, all the shields are connected up. So there's a shielded side that side, and a conductor side that side. Very nice. Nice construction. I'm really surprised these assemblies are this big. I may or may not use these. So this is the part number for this thing anyway. P6434. In case you want to look up what this thing is actually used for. Maybe for logic analyzer. Or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But the main thing I wanted it for was the cables. Having these connectors on the ends here could be handy. Not sure yet. But the main thing I wanted it for was the cables. That was interesting, wasn't it? This is for a project. This is for a project. Those are for a project. This is for a project. That might be for a project. And these are just general things. So subscribe, click the bell icon, thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, have a chat down below in the comments too. Bye.